and I want to go back in for my dad, but I'm worried for myself and my son. Kelly Shillard is staying in as a precaution after tending to her 81-year-old father last week, who lives at the Lynn Valley Care Centre. I was one of the family members who was in there uh, helping to make sure that people who were in the home got, got fed. A dozen health care workers there have tested positive. Now, a total of four residents have died. My dad is okay so far. He's really um, anxious and he doesn't want to take his, his pills anymore. And he said that he's done. And I think part of it is just the fact that he's stuck in his room now for over a week. A tough situation for a guy who loves dancing and being outside. But at least for now, the rules allow Shillard's sister to be with him. Everything is happening here so quickly. We spoke to the sister from outside the care home, which she says is short-staffed but doing their best. These people that are coming into work, and some of them are working 16 to 18 hours a day, they are resilient and amazing. Because of the outbreak, residents are kept in their rooms, and starting today, visitors are only allowed into long-term care homes in B.C., if it's end-of-life care or under strict rules. How important it is for us to come together as a community, to connect on a daily basis at least with, with the people in our community who are in isolation and who aren't able um, to have visitors. And those are the people Shillard worries about the most. And I'm worried about people dying alone. That's what I'm worried about. I'm so grateful that my sister is there with my dad. But there are a lot of people that have nobody in there. And that's what I'm the most worried about. I'm sorry. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, North Vancouver, BC.